Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I'm thankful to have you here for today's pick a card reading. We're going to be looking at what your person's current thoughts are about you and the connection. So we're going to be starting off with some tarot and then we'll also be pulling oracle cards. There will be an extended reading for each of the piles. It's going to be different depending on what comes through for the piles. So stay tuned for that if you guys do feel like it really resonates and you want to go deeper um, into the reading. So for pile number one, um, we have the blue calcite palm stone. For pile number two, we have the rose quartz point. And for pile number three, we have this clear quartz heart. We'll be using the Apparition Tarot deck for all of the readings, so I would just focus on the crystal that you're feeling the most drawn to. I will have the timestamps linked down below um, for all three of the piles, and I will also have the extended readings linked in the description box along with any of the decks that I'll be using during the reading and any information about me. So I hope that you guys find this reading helpful and I hope you enjoy. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the blue calcite palm stone, this is gonna be a reading where we're looking at your person's honest thoughts about you. So we're gonna start off with some tarot and then we'll get into oracle cards as well to clarify and get some more details. Let's tune me into pile number one's person's energy. What are pile number one's person's honest thoughts about them? What are their honest current thoughts about them and the connection? Be the king of pentacles and the hermit. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Fool. For some reason, I'm being told to do the reading in a different format than I usually do. So I'm going to actually just do more of a straight line and then have the bottom of the deck energy here. So I'll clarify if I feel like I need to. So what are pile number one's person's honest thoughts about them. The Four of Wands. In the back of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Let's get a sip of water. So we have Virgo and Aquarius energy with the Hermit and the Fool here. Okay, so I feel like your person is thinking about what path they want to go down. And I feel like this relates to you in some capacity. I, I feel like your person is thinking a lot about, I just heard the, the ties that bind. So, Okay, with the King of Pentacles, I'm getting this energy of this person almost thinking about like who they're supposed to be or who society expects them to be. Um, and for me, this could also just be what their family's um, expectations of them are or some kind of environment in which they've grown up in. And I feel like with the Hermit here, there's this energy of this person thinking about I'll, and I'll tie this into how this relates to you, but I feel like these are this is the focus of your person's thoughts and it does relate to you. So with the hermit here, the hermit represents an energy of quieting out all of the noise around you and sorry, there's dogs really barking outside. But in the absence of light in a sense or a clear path, how do you find your light within? And it's also about finding your authenticity. And so I feel like this person is 
perhaps realizing with the king of pentacles that what they actually want or what really makes them happy is not the path that they've been going down and with the six of cups here i feel like this person feels like you are this sense of home for them um hang on i just need another sip of water They do feel the sense of a soulmate connection with you, a um, strong call to their inner child even. And it's almost like this connection acts as like a mirror to them. And it's almost like because your frequency and your energy here, let me just get this um, straight. Because your energy is, feels so much more like home on a soul level, it shows it makes it more obvious what hasn't really been in alignment with your person. And I feel like with the fool here, there's an energy of Aquarius here. And so Aquarius is all about individuality, being different, um, really allowing your uniqueness to shine and allowing your like, weirdness to kind of come out in a sense and so i feel like you represent this sense of safety and home for this person that i don't know if they've ever they've ever known in this life um i do feel like stability is really important to your person or it's like their comfort zone really is tied to goals and values that aren't actually though a part of this person's soul truth and so there's a lot of conditioning for this person and there's also this energy here of like with the king of pentacles like your person may have already reached some level of like status or prestige um and there's this energy or theme coming through around um sorry there's an energy coming through of re-remembering or um that's not even the right word there's an energy of you showing this person that they may need to come out of their comfort zone and become a student again is what i'm getting and to be willing to learn a new way and a new path forge a new path that is actually more in alignment with where their inner light takes them. And so there's this energy with the Hermit here as well as like almost like the inner flame or having, um, it's almost like when we are caught up in our day to day life or really caught up in the material world, we can sometimes lose touch with that inner flame. And it's almost like your inner soul's purpose or um, the things that really make you feel alive. And so there's this sense of, I, I'm hearing don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Yeah. And so there's another thing where it's like, I feel like your person is uncomfortable with being like out of, out of their depth or um, having to be like a newbie or a novice um in some capacity sorry there's noise outside that are just really distracting me right now um but again i do feel like there's a lot of noise around this person and a lot of inherited like fears even like around i'm seeing this card from a certain deck that's like a fearful world and it's almost like when you take in a lot of like news or something or a lot of information that can kind of make your worldview feel a lot more like fearful and like you, then you start craving this sense of security more than anything else i feel like they may have grown up with people that kind of are like that and so there's kind of this scarcity mentality but when it comes to you this person is thinking about there's sort of this um 
this mirroring, you're, you're holding up a mirror to them to see these aspects of their life that they didn't see before um, in order to more clearly see themselves. It's almost this energy of already thinking that you are, um, like you've already made it. It's almost like imagining that you're in first place or that you, you already have gold only to realize that it's actually silver and it needs to, can, the process needs to go on. And it's almost like this energy of thinking that you're further than you are or, um, yeah, just certain, it's really weird. Other decks are really coming through, but there's this card that's like called lightning, um, in this deck, I'll show you the deck. Um, it's like the alchemy deck from Kim Kranos. And it talks about, um, kind of the energy of trying to ignore certain, um, like shadow elements, like there's shadow elements, this person that they haven't been able to see until now, or they're starting to see it. And I think it's actually triggering for this person because there's this energy of really having been in the light or just feeling really sure about themselves and their life path and really confident. And there's something about your energy that makes them question things in a way that they don't usually question it. And it, it pushes them out of their comfort zone. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up so far. Let me get some Oracle cards as well. I also feel like with the Six of Cups here, there's this energy of familiarity with you that is odd because it's not like you're like the people that this person grew up with. And so I feel like this person is also reflecting a lot on their past and like their memories and like their family in a sense. And I, I think that if this person is honest with themselves, I think that they're starting to realize that they actually are living in a certain level of fear that they didn't think they were. Like there's this sense of feeling really confident and and, but then they're like, okay, if I'm so confident and, you know, healed up until this point, then why am I afraid to look at something here? I, I feel like this person is smart enough to, this person is pretty self-aware and they aren't, there's almost like this itch, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like in a movie where someone tries to ignore helping someone or I'm like even seeing like Donkey and Shrek where it's like I don't know if Donkey was gonna be left behind if like Shrek didn't take him on the journey or something I just ran out of storage but anyways what I'm trying to explain is there's this energy around this connection where in a movie the main character um is usually someone that's like well defined in their life and it's like almost like they're on some kind of journey feeling very confident and then something unexpected happens and the protagonist like tries to ignore it or like not help with the situation and so in the beginning there's almost this energy of like ugh, like you know when they walk past the situation and then they're like ugh, I have to turn around I have to help or like I have to like do something about that I can't just ignore it um, but then there's this part of them that's like, oh, I don't want to get involved with this in a way, or like, I, this is almost like an in inconvenience or it's like out of my way, or I already had an agenda. Like I already was on my way to do something and I wasn't planning for this, um, side journey here, but that's like how the movie usually begins. And then they usually learn a lot through, the events that unfold with that character that they end up helping. And I feel like they can feel in the beginning, like, and then they get themselves even in even worse, an even worse predicament. And so there's almost this energy here of this person where they almost feel like they were really confident and like they were, um, there's an energy of almost seeing like you coming into their life as something that made their life like harder, which, but like, let me explain it. It's coming from this place though of, um, it's not, it's a distorted perspective. And I think that they on a certain level know that, but it's in the same way that a character might feel, 
um, like resentful that now they're in a more sticky situation or they're in more darkness, they're in more challenges. It's almost like this person felt like they had a lot figured out and they meet you. And it's almost like now they're not the same or like now a lot has shifted for them. Um, and it's like they could look back at that, but at the end of the day, there was something that they needed to learn anyways that they could at the end of the day, think that character that got them involved in the whole like journey, if that makes sense. I'm trying to think of a movie where like someone wants to leave someone else behind. Um, okay, I'm thinking, oh yeah, yeah, okay, here's a good one. Over the Hedge, where um, the, if you guys have seen Over the Hedge, like the animated movie where, I feel like there's a scene where the main character could leave like the turtle or could leave someone to get caught with the humans and he could have just ran off and taken the food for himself. But instead he decides to, um, help them and then he gets like super involved in their life and somehow what happens something ends up worse than it was before i can't remember it, it goes one direction but it's almost like um oh it's more like the from the turtle's perspective is your person it's almost like the turtle is really questioning the fox or i think it's a fox from being in their group in a sense and there's almost this energy of like i i don't know like i kind of want to leave them or not help them i'm pretty sure the turtle helps the fox at one point and then the turtle gets involved in all of the foxes like shenanigans which from surface level seems like it's and not saying your shenanigans it's just like energetically the storyline where it's like they get involved and there was something that they needed to learn though. And I feel like the turtle was really kind of uptight in a sense. And they did have something to learn from the fox and vice versa. But it's almost comes from that stubborn sense of um, with the king of pentacles here. This person could have definitely have um, earth in their chart. So um, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. Because it's coming through almost like that turtle that is like this Virgo energy that's very like prepared and organized like literally for the for winter and like making sure that they have everything in plan and then this other person comes in to like to throw like a wrench in in the work but it's almost like then they learn something that they needed to learn about themselves and they're better off in the end so it, it, that was a long way of explaining it but I just feel like there's this sense of um you're expanding this person's um, self and you're forcing them to look at parts of self that they've disowned or suppressed and so you're forcing this person to see their shadow which is the shadow is what we certain traits that we judge other people for so like the turtle maybe judges the fox for being for taking risks so like especially with the fool here for like taking risks or just like doing things that are like yeah essentially in the example it's like taking risks and it's like the turtle disowned the part of themselves that has tr that allows them to like take risks and so it's like when we judge other people for things or are really resistant to someone else's like way it almost always shows us where we don't let ourselves integrate some level of that and I was recently thinking about that and I always was confused about it because it was like okay if if everyone's just like a mirror for us which I do feel like you're a mirror for this person it's not to say that if someone, um, I like to see things like on a spectrum. So it's like, let's say we have the trait of being conservative versus, um, or like playing things safe versus taking risks. Let's say that we're on a spectrum here. In an ideal world, you're gonna have a pretty good balance of those two energies. So neither one is like overruling the other. So like, let's say we suppress our willingness to take risks. Now we're super far on the spectrum of playing things safe. And so when we're at that point, we can look at other people who have more of that trait of taking risks. Um, but like, let's say we see someone else who's the mirror opposite of us. So someone that actually could use a little bit more of um, not taking risks. This person that's on this side of the spectrum is going to look at the other side and just be like, see, this is exactly why I suppress that trait because look at this out of balance person. And so it's not that you're supposed to become like the other person. It's meant that you're just, it shows you that um, 
if you find it like repulsive or like judgment or you'd really judge it, it usually means that you could use a little bit more of that trait. It doesn't mean you should become like that person, if that makes sense. And so I think you function like that. Something about your personality, but it doesn't have to be taking risks. It could be, but it does feel like there's an element of like tradition versus being more authentic to yourself and who you really are like individually. And, um, there's almost this energy as well as like having fun or just like, there does feel like a little bit more of like a childlike nature to you, um, or a, you're like an independent thinker and it feels like you, there's just this energy about you that, um, it's like you allow yourself to release like the past even. And I feel like this could be someone who kind of like holds on to like the lessons that they've had or um, like really prides themselves on like not making the same mistakes or something. And so there's something that this person thinks about how you have this more carefree um, nature to you that they might have judged in the beginning because they suppress that tree within themselves. And so I feel like though this person's in this process though, of realizing that their initial assessment of you and maybe seeing you as more like whatever they judge as or like unstable or like they might have felt like they didn't relate to you initially or they might have felt like you guys were very different. There's almost this energy of realizing the sameness between you and it's showing this person their own shadow and like the fact that it was kind of a them problem, not a you problem. And so this person is having thoughts around that. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's get some Oracle now. Um, what are pile number one's person's honest thoughts about them? And there's this ego death that you've caused them to have because it's, it's almost like they already thought that they were authentic does that make it's almost like this person already pride themselves for being authentic or something but then it's like they realize that there's still more to learn about themselves still more that they don't see and it's like kind of a humbling moment for them as well we have unfinished symphony i'm just gonna get a couple what are pile number one's uh person's thoughts about them we have deep knowing and then chaos and conflict. Messages in a bottle as well. This person could get a lot of signs about you too. Um, and if you're not in contact with this person, there's this energy of this person thinking about how they know that it's not over between the two of you. Or you guys, this could be someone that you've um, someone from your past, it doesn't have to be like, it depends on where you're at, but there is this energy of, um, unfinished business with this person, because I do feel like this person has needed time to integrate what you, sh what you have sh shown, a shine, sh sh stop, shown a light on. Um, it's like this person has, it feels like there's been a little bit of time between when you first met this person to now, and maybe there has been some distance between the two of you. Um, but with deep knowing here, this person thinks about how they were, they realized certain ways that they were like, they were wrong um, in their assessment of things. And you really, this person is thinking about how there was this suppressed deep knowing about the importance of you in their life. And so the, to be fair though, this person did like you like did enjoy you maybe more than they'd like to admit like I, there's kind of this energy of like a kindred spirit but kind of looking different on the surface and with chaos and conflict there's almost this energy here of um maybe thinking that this connection again with the chaos and conflict it's like this connection would maybe create maybe they avoided the connection even because they didn't want um to deal with that level of change. It's like this energy of wanting to stay the same and not wanting to even engage in a situation where your thoughts are being challenged and you have to kind of hear the other person out, I guess. And so this person is kind of thinking about how, 
I'm hearing that they should have listened to you more or that they're, they, they, um, what's the right word for it? It, it? I'm just seeing here. This just, just remind me of what I was talking about with like this situation where like the turtle wanted to avoid all of the chaos and wanted to avoid, um, any drama or issues, but it's like through that process, they ended up transforming and finding a new layer of themselves. Like, I feel like that's like the zebra. And so this person almost realizes that they may have been avoiding conflict again, because it's almost this energy of feeling like I don't have anything else to learn. Or it's like, even this energy of this person, maybe having a tendency to be very, um, I don't think they're rude though. It, it's just more like they, really don't like take like usually okay I'm trying to put this in words it's like they sometimes almost feel like they're always right or their view viewpoint is right and so there's almost this sense of um into a point where like they almost feel above getting into like a debate or a conversation about it because they almost assume that other people or, or even you in the beginning like they knew more than you, like they already had the elevated perspective and now they're kind of being humbled to see that they weren't seeing it clearly. Um, and so this person is also thinking about potentially with the six of cups here of an opportunity to reconnect with you with unfinished symphony and um, maybe have more open conversation or discussion or like being more open to your viewpoint or being more open to um, having almost like more respect for your wisdom as well. Yeah. What are pile number one's person's honest thoughts about them? What are pile number one's person's honest thoughts about them? Okay, we have caring connection here. I have it in reverse. In this person, I'm also getting this energy of like they may have really isolated themselves or there's kind of this vibe of this person just almost feeling like they don't need other people or there's this strong sense of like hyper independence and not relying on people, I don't know, like not trusting other people to really add value to their life or being kind of disconnected from community with the four of wands here and celebration. Like there's almost this like loner vibe to this person. And it's almost like this person feeling like I like it that way. This person is realizing though, that they may have pushed away a connection that was very, um, could have been very special to them. And so I feel like they're kind of having this awakening of their heart where where they're realizing that this way of being or this like egoic stance that they've had has pushed away um opportunities in love or opportunities even if this is like a friendship opportunities to deep more deeply connect with other people um and almost realizing too that like a part of healthy connections really is this like chaos and conflict or being open to like respecting another person's point of view and like realizing that it doesn't have to be a threat to you and almost just open, but it's less that it's a threat. It's almost like this person, there was like a slight like cockiness to them um, where they, or just like a slight arrogance where they just almost felt like they already know. And so I'm seeing this card though, that's like, so with the fool and the page of pentacle, it's almost this energy of the beginner's mind has, um, a unique perspective that's valuable and I think this person had spent a lot of time discounting that or like forgetting that to always be a student like to always be a student of life no matter how far in life you get no matter how successful you become that you're always still a student of life yeah and also this energy of like this person realizing that um you know, they through they've been avoiding connections, it feels like, or more intimate connections. And like, that's also a way of like avoiding intimacy with themselves and having to learn more about themselves because relationships are reflections, are opportunities to see yourself. And so I feel like this person hadn't been seeing it that way or is starting to realize the way that they've been cutting themselves 
their ego has been limiting their personal growth and development by undervaluing the different perspectives of others, no matter how far along in their journey they perceive them to be. Um, and they're also realizing this paradox of like wisdom that comes though, like without maybe a sense of status or without like certain credentials, there's almost this energy of this person realizing that that doesn't, this person saw things as very hierarchical or very linear. And I feel like now they're opening more up to um, like a circulatory vision of growth. And for me, like a lot of the cards also in like this Kim Cranos deck, like really talk about how um, a big part of like alchemy and being an alchemist is realizing that it's a circle. So no matter how far you get, you always begin again and you're always the, going to become the beginner again. And so like the true alchemist doesn't uh, fool themselves with like a lack of humility and um, like fear. It's like this person, they don't disguise fear. And so I feel like there's this energy of seeing you as ele actually maybe more elevated than them. And that being or at least spiritually elevated, like maybe in the physical world, like they have a lot or like they just are prestigious in some capacity. But there's this energy here of s seeing that you might be more wise than them on certain levels. What else? And like with deep knowing here, it's like the kind of knowing that doesn't come from books. You know, I feel like this person could be really book smart. Um, okay, what else can you tell us about how pile number one's person is honestly thinking about them? We have cornucopia. Get one more. We have the sun in reverse. Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness. Interesting. Yeah, so this person is thinking a lot about the mindset that they've been in. And with the sun in reverse, I almost feel like there's been somewhat of a pessimistic or cynical approach to their life and i feel like with cornucopia here there's this energy of reconnecting with the four of wands energy as what is shared community like almost reconnecting with what would it look like to share abundance with others or what is a what really is abundance i feel like this person is having these thoughts and questions where it's like abundance doesn't isn't just material it's like it also comes in the form of relationships and the intimacy and connection and sharing with others um that's what a true cornucopia looks like or like an ideal world and there's almost this energy of your person just kind of there's kind of this energy of them feeling like they've been kind of grinch like um especially with like the themes of the grinch being like you know i isolated myself feeling like i'm like because I felt like pain or hurt in a certain sense for not fitting in, I isolate myself now. And um, like in the Grinch's case, he's become someone who's like super scary. But like, I feel like in your person's case, it could just be someone that's become like, you know, prestigious or like untouchable or, um, you know, a little bit like more cold or cool or distant or like someone that's not easy to like get to know. Um, same with the Grinch, you know, puts a barrier this person realized they put a barrier barrier between themselves and community. And so like the Grinch, it's like, you're like Cindy Lou Who, you know? Um, oh my God, literally that ha this exact scene that I was trying to talk about happens in the Grinch where Cindy Lou Who is in the present thing and she's like gonna get shredded by like the presence and then the Grinch is about to walk away and then Max is like, come on, like you, you gotta help her. And so then he like picks up her feet and saves her and is like whatever like don't think don't like get too excited about it and then that opens the door though to Cindy Lou who like getting involved in his life and he's probably like oh like what have I done like I shouldn't have saved her you know but then it's like that was actually the key or the door so you're like Cindy Lou who um yeah this there's a very strong Grinch Cindy Lou who vibe going on between you guys um yeah where it's like this person's heart was small um, and they had shunned, I feel a lot, a sense of community. Um, yeah. And there's also this energy here where it's like, it started off with this person though, almost, um, 
feeling that they had to sacrifice for what everyone else wanted them to do or what their community wanted. And so they lost this connection with themselves and their inner child and their heart. Um, and it's almost like this way of like pun of not processing that pain and almost punishing everyone else or seeing everyone else as the problem in a way and isolating themselves. And you are like this, this energy that's like, I, I couldn't say better than Cindy Lou Who. So yeah, that's what I'm getting from this person. That's how they're thinking about you. They're debating a lot of these topics within their minds. Um, so for the extended reading, let's look at um, what this person would want to say to you if they were being completely honest with you. Um, let's look at what their current intentions towards you are and if they are going to take any action towards you um, in the next, you know, three to six months. Like, what can you expect for the future of this connection, if anything? So... Um, we'll be doing that. We'll pull message cards as well. And then, um, yeah. So if you guys are wanting more to this reading, I will have this linked in the description box. Um, but other ways to support the channel are through liking the video, leaving a comment and making sure you're subscribed. If you do want to see future pick a card readings, other than that, um, thank you so much for being here and I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the rose quartz point, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at what your person's honest thoughts are about you and the connection right now. So current thoughts, it is timeless. So whenever you're seeing this, that's when you're meant to see it. So please do me into pile number two's energy. Those that chose the rose quartz crystal. What are pile number two's honest Pile number two's person's honest thoughts about them and the connection. What are they thinking about? Please help us provide honest and clear answers. Okay. Pile number two's person's honest thoughts. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. the page of pentacles earth energy coming through okay the devil i have to cover her also capricorn energy oops What is pile number two's person thinking about when it comes to pile number two the connection? We have the Ten of Swords. Should I pull one more? Let's pull one more. What are their thoughts? All right, we have the um, Queen of Wands and then the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so your person is thinking about, I'm, I'm hearing thinking about us or thinking about, it was only just a dream, Nelly. I was thinking about her, thinking about us and what we gonna be. And then it was only just a dream. Interesting. So this person, I wish I could, I'm going to look at the lyrics. I'll be right back. I just, it might have messages. Okay. This is very much in alignment of what I was picking up. So I'm glad I looked it up. But, um, so your person is thinking about, this could be someone that you're in separation with most likely is, or there could be a break or something like that, especially with the 10 of swords. But this person is thinking in retrospect um, they're really thinking about how they didn't invest in the connection properly. And they're really thinking about the fact that maybe, um, like bad habits, bad behavior, like with the devil here, like they let something like interfere with the connection. And so it could be different for everyone, but it's almost like, 
like an addiction to a way of being or like even if it was like I don't know, like wanting to be single or um, an addiction to a certain lifestyle. Um, it feels like this person didn't show up for you reliably. And there's this energy of this person reflecting on how you needed more from them and, and how they messed up and they didn't show up um, in a way that was sufficient. And so with, this, with the Seven of Pentacles, this person feels like, especially with the question mark, um, there, it could be different for all of you, but this person, they're, they are catastrophizing in their mind, but maybe for some people it's like for a good reason. Um, if they really did mess up with the 10 of swords, but there's this question on their mind of like, is there any way of reviving this connection or have I completely messed up and like dropped the ball? Have I completely, they're like wondering that if, if it's, that bad or if you're completely moving on from them um this person's thinking about you um definitely putting you on a pedestal and it is giving a little bit of that energy of like you don't know what you have until it's gone um and this person with the devil they're seeing themselves as the devil here or like they feel like they were in a lower vibrational energy and they feel like they mess things up. For some of you, I'm getting that it could have, it, you guys would know if it was this, but it, it could have been a, like a betrayal, like, um, or like a third party. It could have, it just could have been something where this person like broke promises to you or um, with the page of pentacles, they may have like, you know, I like allowed this connection, like allowed you guys to think about a future together or they may have, um, it could be different for everyone. Some people may have like just shown that they can't be trusted or that their actions don't align with their words. Other people could have just shown up immediately in an energy. Like they could have shown up in the connection in like a like more like immature way, like right off the bat. Um, like they could have just been a page of pentacles. It's going to be different for everyone, but with the page of pentacles, it could be that they just feel like they weren't enough or like they didn't bring enough to the table and, um, like, yeah, I'm just getting this energy. I'm hearing like a scrub, no scrub. So I feel like this person's almost like really thinking down on themselves right now and thinking of how they like aren't at your level or like worthy of you and how now in hindsight that they've kind of, maybe you're walking away from them. They're realizing the mistakes from the past and like what they should have done. And they're just seeing um, that you're not happy with the situation, obviously. And they do believe that you're, you're walking away and they're really wondering if like there's anything they can do to prove that they do really care for you or that they do really, that they're, they're thinking of you. But there's this energy here where it's like now that you're maybe walking away or like not available to them, it's almost like now they're thinking... I would give up like this devil energy. Like I would give up anything, you know, like I should have done it sooner. And like, um, I would give it up, you know, but it's almost like that addictive energy where it's like, even being like that to you, where it's like, now that they can't have you, like they're even like addicted to you. So it's almost this short term energy of like, no, I'll give it up. Like, you know, I'll give up this, like whatever else. And like, I'll say that now, but then it's kind of this energy of, it's almost like always chasing like it's hungry ghost energy a little bit and kind of chasing a sense of satisfaction and that getting them into trouble within the connection because they can't, they're not stable or like they're not stable within their own energy. And there's kind of like this chaotic vibe that I feel like they brought to you. And with the queen of wands here, like they're seeing you really, oh, let me cover that. They're seeing, even though there's like nothing here, but um, they're really seeing you in your power um, and I, I'm seeing here that they, they always have wanted you. They always, they actually always saw you as this queen at once. It wasn't really that they didn't see your value. It's that they are, they knew from the beginning that they weren't in a place where they could give you what you deserved. And it's almost like they may have engaged with you anyways, um, and for whatever amount of time or 
like whatever it was they may have like especially the devil's energy it's almost this vibe of like if they knew that they couldn't treat you well or like if that they couldn't be like a supportive reliable person for you and if they knew that that's what you wanted it's almost like they couldn't resist the temptation to to interact with you anyways and it's almost like they've always viewed you as something that's like a dream or out of reach or like unreal and I do feel like there's like a slight selfishness that this person had um because you brought them like sort of a high like like you make this person feel valuable or you make this person feel like they're at a higher level than they are like just by interacting with you um and there's kind of this energy of like like something has a high price tag like it's it's like you it's almost like buying something you can't afford to wear it and then like return it but like you knew the whole time you're going to return it because you know you can't afford it but you still wanted to wear it and like get the gratification of like wearing something um and so that's where it feels a little um I don't know it's like that's the situation I guess like I'm not saying these are 100% their thought their thoughts are more centered around how they've like really messed up like this person really does feel like they messed up and they do feel like like a loser kind of like there's this energy of them feeling like a loser and feeling like like they know they're smart enough to know the way that they should have showed up or like the way that they should have been and they also know that if they couldn't they know that they made a mistake by what to whatever level allowing you to give to them especially with the six of pentacles that was underneath like there's just this feeling here of they knew that you were too pricey for them like that like they knew that the whole time and then they couldn't resist getting involved anyways even though they knew it wasn't even though they knew behind their scenes that almost like if you saw the real them that you wouldn't be interested and so there could have even been like a slight like facade that this person like it's not that I don't even think this person necessarily lied. It just more feels like they omitted information or they may have presented to you like they were more stable than they actually are underneath. Like maybe they tried to come across like more mature um, and like in control of themselves than they really are. And I feel like there's this, there's this feeling of like, it, it's that energy where, um, it's like it's very immature it's reminding me of being a kid and like the temptation to like lie you know what I mean just to get that instant gratification um and like I feel like we all have experiences in like elementary school where we just like randomly lie about something and it's like a short-lived gratification like with the devil there but then it creates like this fear because now you're like tied to that lie and you know you pay a price for it because there's like consequences to that lie being figured out you know, and so there is this feeling of this person being like that. Um, and I feel like with the Ten of Swords here, like it might not be that like this person has like put, betrayed you in some kind of like significant, for some of you it could be, but but the more lighter side of it could be that there's a lot of anxiety and overthinking in this person's mind. And like they may be really, um, we'll get more into it, but like at the least severe side of this, I feel like your person could make things better by just apologizing for not being as honest as they should have been about like what they were going through or like what their sort of issues are and like why they can't really show up in this reliable way. Um, and then risk like you being like, okay, why, well, you know, then with that information, you know, I, I get the choice to decide that I don't want this. And you know what I mean? Like that's what they, they need to apologize for, for not being more transparent with you. Um, especially when it comes to how pr practically they could um, like there's this energy of them wanting you to, to invest in them or like give them time a day or something but not wanting you to see that it probably wasn't going to pay off very well you know what I mean like there's almost yeah there's an energy of like taking out a loan or like um yeah and like presenting slightly better and so there's just this vibe here where it's like at the very least this person may feel like 
and, and I'm getting that it's like this person was more of a page of pentacles and I feel like they tried to front as a knight of pentacles. Um, and I just feel like this person thinks about you finding out certain things that they maybe omitted or didn't tell you. Um, and then this person is afraid of you seeing them as extremely toxic or like someone that like betrayed you. And this person's afraid that like already, and I do feel like for a lot of you, it's not like that bad what happened. It's, it's like this person, um, they do see you really highly um, and they see themselves so low that they're almost projecting like this um, harsh energy on you slightly where it's like, if pile number two knew the truth or like they saw things clearly, like they, they would never be as nice to me again, or they would never extend that sense of, um, they wouldn't even be interested in me if they knew, you know? And I feel like the truth probably is not that. Like, I, I do feel like there's this energy of like deceit, you know what I mean? Where it's like, but not deceit. Um, it's more like this person is hiding things that they're ashamed of. Like they're not trying to exploit you, slightly they are just because of they're not being honest but like they're not trying to lie to like sneak around you well they're just trying to lie to make things look better than they are um to be able to control the way that you see them you know instead of being honest and letting you just like have your viewpoint it's because they think that you would be dismissive of them or or that you would be um that's what they feel like their sin is, is um, having fronted like a more stable energy without really showing maybe like some of their bad habits or like some some sort of energy that they may have been in or, um, you know, the devil here. Like, I, I just feel like they almost see you on a pedestal or as, or as like more like moral or so they almost just think that you must be so like um like just and like pure in a sense that like because they see you that way they almost think that you would judge them more um you know if it, like but it's that energy of like even when you're like in a round of friend it's like a friend might make decisions that you wouldn't make but like you're not gonna like judge them you know like I feel like this person thinks you might project like expect I don't know like that because you are it's it's like I feel like this person has lower self-worth than you and I feel like when you have lower self-worth like this person might find themselves in situations that are just almost like really reveal like a sense of low self-worth and I feel like this person just feels like you would never like stoop to a certain level um but it's it's to do with low self-worth and I feel like this person almost thinks you might be surprised or something or like that you wouldn't understand or relate to it or like yeah and it's like they definitely didn't want to have to describe it to you so um okay let's get some oracle now this person almost feels like you would see them as like a liability rather than something that could like add to your life you know and I think a part of also why they held back information from you was because I do think on like, to be fair, on a certain level, they didn't want to burden you with like their problems. It did also serve to protect their like ego in a sense. But um, I just truly believe at the end of the day, like if this person and it's like, who knows that they're committed to changing, though, you know, I feel like if they were committed to changing these ways then they could just be honest. And I genuinely think you'd be compassionate towards them. But I feel like it's the fact that they're maybe not ready to change or be better. Maybe they don't think they can. What else can you tell us about what pile number two's person is honestly thinking about them and the connection? We have time to go in reverse. We have between worlds in reverse as well. Yeah, so I feel like this person may have like left very abruptly or um well they're thinking of a couple different things. This this person is thinking that 
this situation is really not what you expected it to be. And so they're almost assuming that you are like already out the door or like you, you're already done with them. This person's thinking that you're done with them. Um, I want to see if there's anything else that comes through. 45. Yeah, ending is completions, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn or experience. And I think this person was like afraid that there's like nothing else to offer in the situation. Um, yeah, th this person... I'm okay. I'm also seeing here that there is something also in their life. I think that they need to walk away from um, that is not good for them. And so with the Ten of Swords here, I do feel like I'm just getting this message for some of you. So I'm just going to like say what I'm getting is like this person like might have told you something like some kind of ending in their life or, or something like really painful that's happened for them. And like, that might be a part of like why they aren't able to show up like reliably. Um, but I'm just getting here that with like the devil, I, I just feel like there might be like some missing facts you have about some kind of a situation, or it might be that they're not completely, um, they haven't maybe completely cut some sort of negative relationship or force out of their life just yet, like is what I'm getting. And yeah, that's just for some of you. If it doesn't fit at all, like do not force it to fit. And then let me just see. Yeah. Yeah, and so just like with this between worlds in reverse, like there is this feeling of um, your person really thinking about how they might have set your expectation. They think that you maybe just expected more out of them. And so the protection message message says be mindful of your expectations this is not a time for guarantees things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate um and i'm seeing here that it's like with between worlds it's because your person is in an unstable state or like they're still trying to find their footing moving transitioning from some kind of a situation so i feel like they're thinking about how um also with time to go though i'm also seeing them see you in this energy of like because they're not meeting your expectations or like it's not what you expected you're like just done like because you're not getting what you want out of it they, again like that's repeating the same thing but that's what they feel you might be thinking as well so they're thinking about that i feel like they are wondering if this connection can come around again or is it completely over like that's a question that they have There will be an extended reading. Um, I'll choose a different topic for each pile. So I'll figure it out at the end of the reading to see what else would be useful to go into. So what else can you tell us about pile number two's thoughts, honestly, towards pile number, pile number two's person's thoughts towards pile number two in the connection? We have victory. And then we have the thinking woman. Angel of balance in reverse. Yeah, I feel like your person's like out of balance. Um, okay, with victory here, again, there's this energy of your person thinking about what you expected from the relationship, um, not being like satisfied with it though. Also though, there, there almost is this feeling of like racing against the clock or like, it's giving me like movies where you're on borrowed time. Um, Oh my god, it's like a movie where, or like a show where one character, um, oh my god, it's reminding me of like Ratatouille, I guess, or like, but what it's reminding me of, it's like movies where someone uses some temporary power, but it's like the devil as well. It's like the princess and the frog too, or it's like anything where you're on borrowed time or, or borrowed like resource. Um, that's really what this person is reminding me of. Like this person like digs themselves into holes is what I'm getting where it's like, 
they worry about it later and then there's like a lot of stress in their life about it though so it's like with the victory here it's like they, i feel like this person want, wanted to seem good to you or like they wanted the victory with you um they wanted this and like they do want it honestly but there is this truth that it feels that it's out of reach for them this could be metaphorical but like just to go on from like what i'm getting like as a download is this person coming for i don't even know i might have fallen asleep during princess and the frog but like a typical situation where someone makes someone into a prince or like aladdin aladdin for example um that's a perfect one aladdin where aladdin goes the genie and he's like a prince he turns into a prince and then he gets to like impress jasmine but he's actually like you know like homeless i think i've never thought of him that way but like you know he, he doesn't have this status and like he sees her as like a princess obviously um like royal and like like projects all of these um traits that she would want or and like he tries to become that um but he's on borrowed time or like there's always some sort of um you know caveat to the situation and so i feel like your person it, this feels like that where it's like this person is thinking about you and like what you're figuring out about them but and at the end of the day like it does feel potentially as innocent as that like you know how, like, just think about Aladdin doing that. Like, there's a part of you that kind of feels bad for him for doing that. And a part of you that just, like, knows that Jasmine... And I feel like Jasmine figures out, like, who he was and she would have been fine with that. But, like, the lie is where there's an issue. And so it feels like this person is sweating or, like, concerned about you figuring out some kind of a lie. Um... And like the hole that they've dug themselves into and like even having to explain themselves potentially. I feel like this person's overthinking, catastrophizing. Um, and, and I feel like they are still hoping that there can be some kind of a victory here because I do feel like they did want you. But again, it's like, it's only just a dream. Like it's something that does feel out of reach. So yeah, those are the nature of this person's thoughts. Um, very interesting reading. So for the extended, let's look at I want to find out what the devil energy is like I want to see like what if there's anything else you can tell us like about like what Paul number two needs to know about like this energy I just want to go more into the ten of swords and the devil like what is this person hiding also like what is the truth that they're hiding um then let's look at what potential there is in the connection to see if there is like a foundation of potential um, and we'll start there and then we'll go into anything else that like comes through, but I just want to explore those topics more and we can also get some guidance for you. So if you guys want to join me in that, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. Um, other ways to support the channel are just um, hitting the like button, leaving a comment um, and subscribing if you do want to see more pick card readings. Other than that, thank you so much for letting me read for you and I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the clear quartz heart, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at how your person is honestly thinking about you currently. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find it, um, these messages should be meant to find you at that time. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with some tarot and then we'll pull some oracle cards as well. Pile two is really interesting. I feel like I love when these readings like teach me a lot. I feel like I learn a lot through doing these and I'm going to have to like really marinate on the realizations I had. But anyways, Spirit, please tune me into those that chose the clear quartz heart. What other person's honest thoughts towards them in the connection? What is their person honestly thinking? The Knight of Cups. Give the Tower. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and then the Ten of Pentacles. At the back of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, interesting. Mm 
I'd be curious like what's going on in this situation. Um, Cause this is an interesting spread here. Let me just tune into it. Okay, I feel like there's something in this person's life that they don't want to let go of they don't want it to change there's something that this person's holding on really tight to with this four of pentacles um but with the tower here there's um an unstable foundation there there's something whatever this person's um whatever the situation is i'll get more specific as we get more into it but whatever this person is holding on to in their life it could be a relationship a job um a house some sort of possession um probably is more than just a possession because it feels like it has other um it could be it actually could be um but there's something here where this person thinks that it can build into something like there there's this energy of this person being convinced that um okay num this person is coming through as like very defensive and i feel like this person's perspective isn't super um like accurate or like truthful so i, I just want to explain that in the beginning that it feels like there could be a little bit of a distorted way that they're thinking about you in the connection right now because their thoughts are really I, i'm hearing hell bent but like really focused on trying to hold something together like i'm just seeing something falling apart and like someone really trying to like patch it up or like be in denial that something needs to come to an end or that it's even giving the energy of something having like this person could have even been this person has seen something that they can't unsee like there's this energy of seeing some truth about something um but not wanting to accept that what they saw does mean the end of it like there's no justifying justifying it um beyond that so like no matter how much they want it or like I, I feel like with the knight of cups here it could even be something that they feel this person doesn't want to live in reality about something and they feel really drawn to something that seems like an, an illusion or something like that um, there's this energy of wanting to fight to keep, I need more information, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to need more information, I'm realizing, um, because I'm, because I, I asked the question, like, what are they thinking about when it comes to you and the connection, and it's not clear yet the context, and it could be different, I'm not sure if this situation is something outside of this connection, um, like if this is the connection itself, I feel like they are thinking about how I would imagine then that this is someone that you don't want a relationship with or someone that you're maybe trying to leave behind or something. But this, there's an energy here of someone being in denial about the end of something or being in denial that it's not just going to go back to how it was um and so with the ten of pentacles here there's this energy of really trying to hold on to the vision that they had yeah and i am getting for a lot of you it is the connection so for a lot of you i could see two situations so i could see it being that this is like something else in their life um that's causing a blockage in the connection or if this is someone that you like have ended things with 
it feels like this person is like in denial and really holding on to you and doesn't want to accept that things are over, especially the five of pentacles it's, or sorry, the five of wands. There's this energy of wanting to fight for the connection. Like in their mind, they're like, I can still save this situation or it's not too far gone, but it's literally the, it's the 10 of swords. Like it's not up for debate is kind of what I'm getting. It's not up for discussion. Like, you're, you're not, it's like the stages of grief. Um, this person is in like a bargaining phase or like denial. I don't know. Denial plus bargaining. They're, they have not reached acceptance of some kind of loss in their life. Um, something turning out to not, like they had an idea of what they wanted, something to turn into. And we have the Ten of Swords. So like, that's just not going to happen. Um, and the tower means that whatever it was had an inherent seed of failure within it anyways. Um, but let's clarify. It's like they could be seeing things with rose tinted glasses or like, I don't know. Okay. Uh, can we clarify the Knight of Cups for pile number three's person's thoughts? Clarify the Knight of Cups. Yeah, we have strength and then the three of wands. Like there's this energy coming out from them that's like, if like I can get the result I want or something like that. Like like this is a matter of determination or a matter of how much I care or something. Like there's an energy of um, if I just care enough, I can fix it. Um, so I'm wondering if this person like messed up with you. Like um, they may be in denial that it's it's really over or like that they can't just undo the damage um but with the knight of cups here th in their thoughts they're like i care so much though like i care so much about pile number three like if i just take enough action or do something like this like it's gonna make everything better and we can we can um we can get back to things as usual or like what the plan was um yeah, because with the three of wands here, it's like something is not progressing in the way that this person wanted. And so we're going to get more information. We need more information. Why is the tower here? All right, we have the queen of cups. We have the nine of wands. Why is the four of pentacles here? We have the nine of cups. Why is the Ten of Swords here? We have the Six of Cups, yeah. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, okay, the Eight of Cups, and then the High Priestess again at the back of the deck. Okay. So, this feels like someone that is like, so hell-bent on you or the connection with you as like a wish fulfillment for them um and there's this energy of like this is what i really want um with the queen of cups here and the nine of wands with the tower i'm wondering if this person didn't expect you to be able to move on without them or be able to like find the resilience within yourself um to overcome like your maybe this person expected you to be like they might have seen kindness as weakness it feels like this person is having a tower moment because they didn't see a situation clearly and so now they're like shook and in denial about it so it's like let me just make sure that, that i'm picking it up correctly like yeah, like with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands. It's like the Queen of Cups, it's a tower moment because they always expected you to be there for them 
or no matter, yeah, like no matter how many times they messed up or no matter how much pain, maybe even the situation caused you, they expected the tower to be rebuilt or like maybe they even expected you to be there to help them rebuild the tower. Um, that, you know what I mean? Like there's this energy of them consistently, maybe even causing you tower moments, you know, or, or, um, not following through or, or just, uh, like you almost always giving this person another chance or seeing the best in them. So with the four of pentacles here, I feel like this person is thinking about how you've actually become more guarded with them even like I feel like there's this thought there's this thinking of realizing that they're that you're not coming back or that you're not playing around or like that you're not in the same energy as you were anymore um and with the nine of cups here there's two messages coming through like one of them is that they don't want to let go of you and what they, th because they see you as like holding their happiness or like holding their emotional fulfillment, um, they feel like they won't be happy without you. But again, this feels like bizarre because it's like they're with the Queen of Cups coming through, there must have been like with the Ten of Swords too, like a betrayal or something like that. Um, but with the Nine of Cups here, this person, I feel like you're choosing yourself in the situation. Um, and it's not up for discussion and this person can't accept that. Is this what I'm getting? Like, I, this is very interesting. So like with the nine of cups, it's like, you're not sharing anymore. Like you're, you're pulling your energy back from this person and you're having more boundaries with them. And that's showing them like the seriousness of the situation. Um, yeah. And I feel like with the six of cups, this person maybe always thought that like, because of your familiarity with them or like your history with them that it wouldn't be possible for you to break away from them um or like yeah there's almost this element of I am a part of like who you are and I feel like you are emancipating yourself from that like it's almost like this person felt like entitled to a permanent place in your life um no matter how many times there have been like tower moments or how, no matter how many times things fell apart this person's like we'll we'll always rebuild it and I feel like you are like no more I don't care how many times in the past or like even with the happiness and the memories and the good things about this connection that's not enough this time for me to stay and so this person is thinking about, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the situation. And so I feel like this person is thinking, is really thinking about what they can do in the situation to still get the outcome that they want. Um, they're in shock that you are standing your ground and that you're, you're not um, like giving in or like coming back to them or that you're not... Um, letting them in in a sense they're thinking about how they they f almost covet you like there's this fear of you walking away and it's like they see you as their happiness walking away or like everything that they um I don't know, it's so weird it's like it's like they banked on themselves still being able to have bad behavior is what i'm assuming or not like work on things I don't know there's just this energy of like no like give me one more chance almost and it's like no we've already gone through this so many times um and it's like you've already had the opportunity to treat me like i am your wish fulfillment um but there hasn't been enough change like it's the same tower over and over and over again and so like the foundation of this this is like from your perspective but like okay so from their perspective they are in this energy of like but all of our memories together like pile number three can't really walk away from that like right like there's there's no way pile number three could really walk away from me like they think it's temporary or they think um 
that you don't have the strength to really leave them or like leave them for some reason. And so it could, and this could be for various reasons, you guys, is what I'm getting. Like there could be, um, it could be because of like shared finances or having a family together or um, a shared vision of the future, your families knowing each other. Um, it could be the fact that, I don't know, like that um, they thought that you wouldn't be able to do it without them or like they almost just thought that you needed them or something in the same way that they need you. And so there, this could have been slightly codependent of a dynamic where they just didn't expect anything to actually change because it was like really rooted into this like loop of um like almost fighting being normal or um I don't know there's just this energy of like a repeating cycle of clinging on to the relationship even though it keeps falling apart and even though there's a lot of pain already even though it's shown that it's not working um yeah, and I, I'm hearing um, in the thunder and rain. Um, I'm hearing who's better for you than... There's songs coming through that are like, no one will love you as much as I love you. Like there's just this energy of like competition even and imagining like what you're doing or like wanting to fight for you and almost hoping that they're going to call your bluff or something, like hoping that you're bluffing. Um, and then they're thinking though about you walking away and to your happily ever after without them. Like they're really thinking about that and they really don't want that to happen. Um, and it feels like just given my perspective, it just seems like they don't, um, or like spirit's perspective, they do not, um, want to really accept that you guys have already tried or that like, it's not working. It, we can't just keep doing the same thing. Or like there's a need to kind of accept that, you know, although there are reasons to stay, like at some point you have to, you know, really see like if there's more bad than good. And I feel like you kind of decided that you don't, you don't see the same potential. I just want to clarify, why is the nine of cups here? Be the two of pentacles in the reverse. And I'm wondering if like this person has repetitively like maybe not prioritized you correctly. Um, or I'm even getting that this relationship started coming at um, a cost to other things in life. Like this person could be thinking about or or yeah it just could be like a codependent relationship is what i'm getting where it's like because of such a tight grip on each other it's almost like other values or like even your independence um like making sure that you balance like self with other or balance out your romantic relationships with your friendships or work with love like it's almost this energy of um like just stifling um, each of your capacities to be happy like on your own. It's almost like the relationship has come before each independent person's like happiness. And like, it's almost like there's a sacrifice of happiness. And there, there it's like this relationship requires too much sacrifice is really what I'm getting. Um, can we clarify the four of pentacles? We have the five of pentacles yeah and i feel like it's been this energy of staying in the relationship to avoid going through that change and like that isolation and that pain that comes with accepting loss but it's just to make room for something better and yeah with the two of cups here it's like it, it feels like this relationship started getting in the way of you guys taking care of yourselves and you know your development and making sure that you are you know, on the road to your own fulfillment and that your like priorities are 
in the right place. I just want to see why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups, yeah. So I feel like your person is thinking about the fact that you're thinking about other options or that you are suddenly not seeing what was agreed upon as the only fixed outcome. You know, like it's like you are willing to sacrifice for more options. Um, and so this person feels... And I'm also just seeing that it, it could be that like you're seeing this like future, like because I'm getting this energy of like before things like fell apart maybe or just like before things got bad, it's like there's always that shared vision of like, oh, imagine when we have kids and it'll be like this and we'll live here. It's almost like realizing that that's more of an illusion with the seven of cups here as well. Um, and it's limited your ability to see alternative options. And so I just think this relationship became something that was constricting and limiting um more than it was beneficial for each person um and so it's like an inevitable ending is here but this person is in some denial about that and i almost feel like there was this pressure to like always like put the relationship first or to like really believe that this is what you wanted and it's almost like there wasn't really room to explore and like reassess the relationship it's almost like like there was just an agreement for this to be the most important thing like the relationship rather than other aspects of life and it's like i hope that makes sense all right um For pile number three, what is their person currently thinking about? We have community in reverse. We have Y in reverse. We have Yang in reverse. And then we have between worlds. And then, yeah, here and now. Um, again, there's a sense of denial with the here and now. It's like this person is in the past and not accepting things at face value. Okay, with community in reverse, there's this energy of your person wanting to stay in what's familiar. Like in being unconscious of why they're gripping at the relationship. So there's this energy here. The Y card always like in reverse talks about this energy of um, like when you don't know your real intention for something and it's like this person may think like with the Knight of Cups here that it's like they just love you so much and that's why they want the relationship to work. And then this doesn't have to be the reason, but it, it usually can be another reason that's actually motivating you. And it's like, for example, or you're just afraid of change, you know, and that's why you don't that's why you think you want the relationship. And I feel like it's almost like this relationship represented um, like it was like a trade-off where certain, it was almost like a safety net or like a sense of um, I need you as much as you need me, but then it ends up stifling your sense of self. But, um, but anyways, with the community in reverse, it's this energy of, almost losing self-identity to other and like what's familiar um and so not really exploring who you are and rather you would want to just fit in in a sense um and like almost like what's the word for this um going along to get along getting getting along to go along something like that um at the expense though of what's really valuable to you and i feel like your person is in this energy of wanting to like with yang in reverse like force it like they they're not accepting they're not surrendering like they still are convinced that they want to um like they still want the situation like they want they don't want to accept a loss like they want to keep pushing for something like this is just a confirmation that they want to keep pushing for something that is it's too much masculine energy it's like they're um 
they're not respecting almost like the boundary. Yeah, it says be mindful of a tendency towards impulsive action, overconfidence and aggressive behavior. Think before you act, lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncomfortable consequences. Yeah, it says be sure to really chase or oh my God, no. Be sure um, you really want what you're chasing after because you might be sorry when you get it. The appearance of this card isn't cause for fear for life is all about learning lessons. Practice temperance, diplomacy, and thoughtful consideration before making a move. And yeah, this person could be prone to doing like grand acts of like, I don't know, like making some sort of grand action towards you to try to get you back. But it's like, at the end of the day, it's more about their fear than really wanting to build something with you is how it feels. And it feels like this fear of this transition and going into the unknown. And I do feel like the situation is moving from black and white to color, but it, it just, it's different, but it is gonna be better. Um, and so it's like this person would rather try to force the situation. Um, yeah. It's like the, the intention for it isn't actually as genuine as this person thinks it is. Um, and so they're really driven by fear right now. And they're terrified of abandonment. So I, I, this person wants to chase you because they're afraid of you actually being able to walk away or not being dependent on them. And this situation could be on a spectrum of like what toxic behaviors have been in the relationship like for some of you it doesn't even have to be that there was like betrayal or something like that it's just that the foundation with the tower here i feel like the connection was built from fear rather than a true authentic representation of what each of you really wanted in a relationship and out of a partner it almost felt like it was what was comfortable or something that would help avoid potential like more loss or more pain like it was almost like a pairing like a wound mate you know what i mean um but it doesn't mean that it couldn't have been comforting and it doesn't mean that there weren't good memories here like at all especially with the six of cups um but there's almost this sense of um realizing either like that you guys have become a security blanket for each other to the point that it's stifling your independent growth um yeah i'm kind of getting that because with the ten of swords it could have even been that you guys each had your own independent like wounds before coming and it's almost like this was like a healing like soulmate relationship or this could be a relationship where there was more toxic behavior i don't think it like needs to be one or the other depending just on what your situation was Um, what else is pile number three is person thinking about? We're going to do an extended reading as well. Um, if you guys are interested, um, I'm trying to think what would be useful for this pile. Um, why don't we look at like the real reason why this person is chasing you? Like, what are they running from or what are they so afraid of? Um, just to kind of help you with that in case this person really is chasing you and to keep you strong, I guess. Um, I'm also thinking that getting you some guidance or like closure of like what lesson you learned with this person um, might be helpful to kind of make meaning of it. And then let's look at what's next for you. Um, why are you called to like move on from this? Like what's beyond this ending in your life? Okay, just some last thoughts from pal number three's person, please. Okay, we have, this is the world in reverse. There is this energy here of like being afraid of letting go of the other person and like being afraid to open up your world because it's like scary and it's almost like what was familiar felt safer. And it's, you know what, honestly, like these situations can't even start out healthy where it's like you guys may have been a safe space for each other at a certain point. But it's almost like the more time that goes on, the more toxic it could become because it's like no longer in alignment. And it's like once we're ready to grow out of something and then we're too afraid to let go of it because it's not in alignment, then that's when things can become more tumultuous. 
tumultuous. Yeah, no, that's wrong. But anyways, what else is pile number one person um, thinking? We have the goddess of the moon in reverse. We have the door to romance. Yeah, I feel like this person really, um, I feel like there's this energy. We have victory and then blossoming abundance. There's this energy of your person using the relationship as a way to not look at their own fears um, and a way to not like really tune into themselves is what I'm getting. Um, and it's like a need to not use romance as a crutch if there's personal individual development that's needed. Um, I also feel like with blossoming abundance in reverse, there's this energy of your person being afraid that they won't be successful without you. Um, almost feeling like you are key to their happiness or key to their victory. Like they feel like they can't be happy without you. And, and that's obviously problematic um, in itself. Yeah. The thinking woman. This person could have even relied on you a lot. Um, just like mentally. Um, to make decisions or like give them advice. Um, they, they may just be afraid that they can't like... I don't know that like you just were what really made them special or something but yeah that's what i'm seeing so um if you want to join me in the extended um i will have it linked down below other than that thank you so much for being here it's an honor to read for you and if you um aren't able to support through the extended readings um liking the video leaving a comment subscribing are all ways to support the channel for free if you guys did get any value out of this reading so other than that, I hope to connect with you again soon.